Okay, today we're here to learn how to be able to wrap the hand uh, for our student level one uh, novice. Uh, this is the way that I recommend that we're going to wrap the hands for the students. They're going to get tested on this for their first evaluation, which is their yellow rank. Later on in the intermediate levels, they're actually going to learn how to be able to wrap their uh, classmates' hands or a coach and instructor's hand. So right now what we're using is we're using uh, 180 inches, what I recommend, uh, Mexican style wrap, it's a stretchy more material. Uh, we also took it out of the, the original packaging and reversed the wrap so that we have the thumb loop exposed. When you first get it, you're going to get the Velcro side on top. Simply what we've done was we've unraveled it and prepared it for a little bit quicker wrapping so that the thumb loop is out. We have Instructor Joe here from Crew Training who's going to illustrate how he's going to wrap the student's hands. Thank you, sir. So first we're going to have uh, the student spread out the fingers uh, uh, nice and wide. This way uh, you're going to ensure that the wrap is not tied on too tightly. Uh, a lot of times what happens is they relax their hand, they wrap it, and of course after some training the hand will actually expand because of the exercise. So what we're planning to do right now is have it spread out and during the wrapping at times he's going to pump the fist, open, pump the fist, and open. So he's going to start at the thumb, and going around to the wrist three times, or depending on the size of the hand. Next thing he's going to do is he's going to cross over to the thumb and come right back around the wrist. Continue. You don't have to stop. Okay. Now you notice he's going to the pinky side first, so he's going away from the thumb, still hand wrapped wide, going across the knuckle area three times. Back to the wrist. We always want to make sure that we have an opening uh, at the palm side uh, so we can create a nice clean bar at the very end. Okay? Pulling back to the wrist and now we're going across and as we indicated before we're going to the pinky side. Once we go to the pinky side we're going to go across the furthest point. So if we're going from the pinky we're going across the furthest point back across the hand and now we're going back to the wrist again. Since we started on the pinky side, we're going to go toward the ring finger, back over. As you can see, I'm st we're not cutting all the way down. We're still trying to cut across, making that bar. Across the hand, nice and tight. Back to the wrist. And it's a good time right about now to make sure that that student is pumping the fist, making sure it's not too tight. Last one, going toward the index finger furthest point, so now from the index finger we went across, originally went to the pinky and then uh, toward the thumb, we wrap around again. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up right now. So as he goes to the wrist, he can go ahead and either continue on the wrist or come right back on the top again. It all depends on how much wrap is left. Now one thing I see a lot of people do also is when they do the wrap they almost come down too far down the forearm. What's going to happen is you're going to have less material actually supporting the knuckle and wrist and you're going to have it go all the way down the arm. You want this to be more like a hammer so the head of the hammer can't bend and flex. Okay, and he's going to finish that off and making sure that the velcro is on the velcro. There's nothing worse than uh, scratching yourself or your opponent. Okay. Now what you'll also notice from here is you have this bar. If it's not as clean as that you can always just tuck it inside. That way when you make a proper fist you're actually grabbing the bar or as they say uh, you have uh, roll coins in your hand making a proper fist, testing it out. And the way we would test it on test day is we, after the student wraps we'll pump the fist, make sure it's not too tight, this is open and as we run the hands across it, if it falls apart it's a little bit too loose, it's going to fall apart in your training. Uh, right now it seems to be very secure making the fist and you're going to proceed to do the exact same thing with your other hand. So that's our basic student uh, level wrapping. There are other ways that we can present to you. There's some uh, easier versions, but this is the preferred way that we're going to show the student today.